Hey guys, welcome back to another session by Simply Learn. Today's topic of discussion is Java versus Python. So in this session, we're going to compare the two most prominently used languages that is Java and Python. We're also going to help you choose the appropriate programming language depending on your requirements. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, I'd really suggest you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. All right, I'm sure we've all been in this position where we've had to choose between Java and Python. And it was so confusing. So today, let me help you choose between the two languages and look at what's in store for us. First, we'll have an introduction to both Java and Python. Then we will compare the fundamental concepts of both these languages. After that, we will get to know the various fields in which these languages are being used extensively. Then we will go through the current industry trends and the salaries offered to these developers. And finally, we will reach to a conclusion and decide for ourselves which language is good for us according to our requirements. So let's start the session by first getting to know both Java and Python. Java was developed by Sun Microsystems. It is a fairly robust and high level language. It is an object oriented language and so adheres to all the OOPS concepts like abstraction and encapsulation. It was originally designed for use in small hardware like set top boxes and handheld devices but due to the increasing popularity of internet in those times, it was very quickly modified to be used in the World Wide Web. Moving on, what exactly is Python? Now you won't believe this, but Python was created in the year 1989. Like Java, it is also object oriented and is a high level language. It incorporates many English words in its syntax as it was designed to be significantly more readable than other programming languages. It is mainly used for artificial intelligence, machine learning, and web development. So now that you've been introduced to both Java and Python, let's go ahead and compare the fundamental concepts of both these languages. First up is speed. Java is a statically typed language, which means the syntax is checked at compile time and so the execution speed is faster. Oppositely, Python is a dynamically typed language so the syntax is checked at the time of execution. This makes the execution speed slower when compared to Java. Next up is syntax. Python has a clear advantage when it comes to the amount of code we have to write for performing the same task. You can point out how simple it is to print a hello world in Python when compared to Java. Python automatically sets the type of variable according to its value. Java, on the other hand, needs the type of variable to be defined before the compilation of the code. Java is more commonly used for web and mobile applications, while Python is mainly used for data science, machine learning, and Internet of Things. I'm sure by now you have a good understanding of these languages. So let's go ahead and see where they're used more commonly. First up, let's see the use cases of Java. It is commonly used for developing web and mobile applications. Java is extensively used in enterprise applications because of its stability and also because of the large number of features that it provides for business applications. Android applications are mainly developed using Java. Now let's see the use cases of Python. Python is very popular for the use in the field of artificial intelligence. It is also used for web development, mostly for the backend part of an application. YouTube is mostly written in Python. Moving on, let's go through the industry trends and salaries for both Python and Java developers. The graph represents the growth of both the languages over the last five years. We can make out that Python has picked up over time and has become more popular than Java in recent times. This is mainly due to the increasing popularity of data science fields. Moving on to the salaries. 
The average salary of a Java developer in India is around 4.5 lakhs per annum. The average salary of a Java developer in the US is around 80,000 US dollars. Moving on to Python, the average salary of a Python developer in India is around 4 lakhs per annum. Since people pursue Python mostly because they are interested in the field of data science, the salary dramatically increases when they get a suitable role, say data scientist. Data scientists get paid on an average of 10 lakhs per annum. The average salary of a Python developer in the United States is around 76,000 US dollars. If they get into data science roles, their average salary spikes up to around 110,000 US dollars. Moving on to the last topic on our agenda, here we conclude as to which programming language is suitable for you depending on your requirements. Let's now think about why we'd want to go with one of these languages. Here are some points to keep in mind. Choose Java if you're more into software engineer roles and want to handle systems for large corporations. Java is extensively used for developing Android applications, so if you want to build an application for Android OS, Java should be your clear choice. Java is also suitable for building various standalone end-to-end -end softwares that run on the PCs. If you are into this sort of thing, then Java is the language for you. On the other hand, if you are interested in the fields of artificial intelligence, data science or the Internet of Things, Python is the go-to language for those sorts of technologies. Python is very simple to understand, so if you're learning to code for the very first time, I'd suggest you go with Python. If you're interested in web development, Python can be a good choice as it provides excellent frameworks like Django and Flask to facilitate web development. With that, we come to the end of this session. If you're learning any one of these programming languages, be it Java or Python, let us know which one it is in the chat section below. And if you're yet to decide on one of these languages, then I suggest you do your thorough research before arriving at a decision. And thank you so much for being here. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.